what you're about to see may or may not, eh, yeah, it will bring a smile to your day. Oh, that's where you went. I see you started testing without me. Well, at least you put a blanket down. This week, we're inside the Lincoln Nautilus. And no, not the naughty list. The Nautilus, very different. And there is something very special about this particular SUV. Come, follow me. Oh! What the heck? I was just getting out of the rear. That wasn't it, but we'll get to that. You see that? You see that right there? 20,000 miles on this thing. You realize what that means? There have been a lot of tushies in here. Oh, hey there. Personally, Andy, I think you got the best looking one, but most press vehicles we get have around five, 6,000 or less miles. So it often feels like a new car. So this is a treat. We get to really see what this is like after some wear and tear. What is going on? Ugh. Looks a little bent. Maybe that's what the problem is. And I know we don't often think about young whippersnappers when it comes to this brand, but did you get a look at this thing? This Nautilus got a major facelift. Compared to its predecessor, dang, this thing looks tight. And the fact that it has 20,000 miles, the paint looks exceptional, the trim, it looks untouched, I have to say. And although we discovered a few hiccups that maybe need a little TLC like that door, and by the way, that is one heavy door, we have discovered some noteworthy things about this Nautilus. Right, Andy? Andy, that is one big stick. Are you really gonna chew this thing? Ooh, look at the size of those. Nice tires, by the way. Continental Cross Contact LX Sport. Great for all season. But you know what this looks like, right? A fan. Feels good. Boop. Three-prong outlet down there. Great for summer along with that. Regarding space, this is a nice size five passenger SUV. Now, I personally would prefer a 40-20-40 split, but the 60-40 will have to do. And call me crazy, but I think these seats are more comfortable than the front. Now, they don't have a massage function, but they are heated and they recline. Massage seats actually feels pretty good. Definitely helpful on a long road trip when you feel like you need a little zhuzhin down there. And with the heat on, it's even better. Passenger has it too. This has a $1,500 seat upgrade. Ultra comfort. 22 ways to move this thing around. Oh, my knees! The way it bulges out, it actually kind of reminds me of a bus seat, something you might find on a luxury coach bus. I personally prefer more of a bucket that you kind of sink into, but the leather, that's a pretty cool looking pattern you got going on there. Kind of looks like a Fendi bag. And the gears, boop, 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 boop. Well, that's unique, but what is that? Oh goodness, hold on. I know I got one. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. I got it! <laughs> Wait, hold on, where's my... Andy, do you know where my phone is? Uh, oh wait, I can find it with this. Oh! on the wireless charger. And look at this, it's got its own little home in here. Oh, how cute is that? Oh, that's where my lipstick went. Actually keeping your phone in here way safer. Keeps your eyes on the road. Now you should have confidence in here because it's loaded with the safety tech and features you'd want. It also has an EcoBoost engine, 335 horsepower, 380 pound-feet of torque. Now I'm not convinced I feel all of that power, but then again, I did just come off a week of driving an AMG, so I'm gonna have to bring things back down to baseline. 
Which by the way, if you haven't checked out that video, the link is below. When I first sat in here, I thought someone was pranking me for a hot second because my foot nearly slipped off the pedals. It feels like ice. I don't know what happened to the grip, but it's worn. It's worn in here. Is it quiet? Yeah, it is. It's actually pretty quiet in here, but I want to feel a little bit more connected to the road. And I feel like that would draw in some younger buyers too. But there are a few things I got to bring up. One, the steering. Now, I don't know what this feels like brand new, but this particular one at 20,000 miles, no matter what I do to adjust the settings, which it takes a little bit of time to figure out how to do it. But once you do it, I don't really feel a big difference. If anything, it just feels, ugh. especially if you're driving at low speeds in a parking lot, I feel like I got to put a little oomph to get this in the direction I want to go. Now for some, that might not be a big deal, but personally, it's a little bit of a disappointment and I feel like this is more representative of Lincoln at the end of an era rather than something new. So with that said, I'm really excited to see how the Aviator and the brand new Corsair drive. Both look real good. Now the actual steering wheel is real smooth, wrapped in leather. Now maybe a little slippery, but when you put that heat on, that feels good. So overall, yes, I know, not very high tech looking when you compare it to some of the other luxury SUVs. Some people are gonna hate on that, but truthfully, if you are not used to a techie vehicle, that could be extremely intimidating. So that's where I feel this would be a much better fit. However, when it comes to that pup back there, she is so comfortable, super calm, zero stress. And that alone is a huge plus. As a matter of fact, half the time she doesn't even want to get out. All right, one more story. A healing touch. And while you can't control the actual temperature back there, the vents are tilted upward, which really help push the air back to the rear. And if I jack it up and close all the vents up front, you can really power it back there. <clears throat> we have been cleared for takeoff. If you're like me and you drive a crossover, sometimes you just feel like you need a little extra space, but you don't want to drive a three row SUV. Something like this is great. Now I referenced the space, but this is one incredible cargo area, especially now. Wait a second. Something is missing. Andy? That belongs in the Lincoln. So it could pass for a rug inside your house. Come on, let's go. <laughs> ah. So one thing to mention real quick, Andy likes her bed vertically. So when we're driving around, she can see forward and it actually fits without going over the seat threshold, which means her bed is nice and flat. Plus some storage under the floor, along with some notable spots up front. Look at that glove compartment button. Whoop. Doors are great. Seat back's a little tight. Earlier, that seal, it came undone. Had no idea I was gonna do that. I crawl in and out of trunks all the time. I've never seen that. I think maybe it needs a little extra super glue, something like that. And listen, when you close the hatch, it even plays a song. Just kidding, but it does play a jingle, which maybe could help an anxious dog back here. You're not just shoving them in the rear. And because it's a little bit bigger, it's very nice that this has a backup camera. Now it's supposed to have a 360 view. That's what my sheet says. But that brings me to my next point. And yes, it's low resolution, but if you're not used to a backup camera, this is definitely better than nothing. My concern is where are my lines? I can't seem to get those up either. I feel like I'm just blindly backing into a spot. Maybe this needs an update. I don't know. This also will park for you. So let's check that out instead. For a spot. Found a spot. Please drive forward. Stop vehicle. Prepare to back up. Giddy up. Giddy up. Giddy up. Giddy up. Giddy up, 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 giddy up
seems like you need to have cars on both sides. Right, Andy? And, and with that said, our top five doggo features are one, easy entry with a run and start and you can get up here by yourself. Two, the wide, flat, open space back here. Three, the removable cargo rug for easy cleaning. Four, the pano moonroof for extra light back here, especially because this is a pretty dark interior. And five, Andy's overall comfort when driving around, which is a major selling feature. Does it have the fanciest looking infotainment and driving dynamics? No. But then again, if that's not important to you, I could totally see why you might be attracted to this. When this is in a parking lot, man, you do a double take. This thing looks good. I got a question for you. Is this lab approved? Yep. Big thanks to Lincoln for letting us lab test this black label Nautilus. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, and follow Andy on Instagram to see photos of this baby all week. And we'll see you next time. Bye.